This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. I was on the phone to the chap I speak to a boss, talk about the Boss Katana Go, and I said there's a couple of pedals that I'd be interested in trying. One was a Dimension C for three reasons. One, um, it's Aaron Marshall from Intervals, one of his favourite chorus pedals that uh, I was chatting to him about. And uh, two was that I think this has been sort of a legendary pedal, or not the pedal itself, but the rack version of this thing was kind of legendary in the 80s. Um, and kind of, yeah, one of the things that folks like Dan Huff and that used, I think. And then, why I'm making this video today is that Rob Harris from Jamiroquai just put up a podcast, uh, Rob's Funk and Junk, talking about the Dimension C. Uh, I've not listened to that yet. I'm going to go and listen to it. What I didn't realise, actually, is that this pedal, specifically the Waza version, you can actually have in-between sounds. So you press one or two of the buttons at the same time. So you have the four kind of preset sounds and you can press one, two and the other, you get these kind of in-between sounds, but all of them are pretty subtle. Um, so it's actually a qu quite a nice kind of chorus pedal 
gives you that kind of 80s sheen on stuff. I actually found this article from uh, 1984 home studio recording about the dimension. This Roland product is a rather enigmatic device in it is difficult to precisely describe its function. Rather than being a blatant effects unit, it falls more into the category of psychoacoustic processors such as the Aphex Oral Exciter, although the two devices are not directly comparable. The function of this device is to either synthesize a stereo image from a mono source or to further enhance a stereo sound source and it may effectively and may be effectively used on single instruments or complete mixes. The Dimension D is basically a two channel time manipulation unit and uses charge coupled bucket brigade delay lines in order to produce the necessary time shift. The delay time is too short to be perceived consciously but by modulating the delay time a pitch change is produced in much the same way as on a conventional chorus pedal. In the Dimension D the pitch change is relatively shallow in order to reduce the pitch wavering effect which can easily be recognized when listening to a conventional chorus unit and the direction of sweep is opposite on both channels producing a sense of movement rather than pitch change. On contacting Roland for further uh, anyway there are no usable adjustable parameters and only four presets modes are available being selectable by means of four latching push button switches on the front panel. There is no level matching control and so the input amplitude must be adjusted externally but the output level may be monitored by means of the 10 segment LED panel meter which is operative when an effect is selected. In addition to the four mode selectors, there is an effect off button which disables the effect but without changing the signal level or introducing any clicks. Difficult to review due to the vague nature of its workings, Dimension D is a very easy box to live with, making a valuable addition to any professional or semi-professional studio. £355 was the price at the time, really cool. Um, subtle chorus with a definite increase in upfrontness and image width without any of the wow and flutter. So maybe a chorus for people who don't like chorus. What I've done is essentially just plugged this after my HX stomp because I, I think this is somewhat reminiscent of what might happen in the studio, right? We're using this essentially as like outboard gear. We've got two switches here. The SDD320 is the mode to emulate the actual Dimension D, which I was just reading you an article about. Let's start off with the thing bypassed. <laughs>
I do feel, I think, because it's two bucket brigade type things, that it is kind of crushing things a little bit if you... Like, you can kind of clip it, um, whether I should turn this down a bit. If we had a bit more drive. Without it,
I don't know. It's uh, pretty subtle in some ways. Um, I think it's that kind of quintessential tone. It's giving kind of like a really nice 80s kind of filter or lens flare, essentially. It kind of looks like your lens flare in a pedal type thing. Do you get what I mean? Um, maybe, maybe not. So if you're looking for those quintessential kind of 80s tones, then I think this is a pretty great pedal to have. In Helix, we do have in the legacy section, the Dimension Chorus. Um, which is a bit extreme. Compared to anything we just heard. Definitely doesn't have that same kind of um, it's definitely not doing exactly the same thing right I, I think you could probably hear that. Definitely not. So uh, does it need to exist if you've got a digital version of it? Yes. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by. I hope that's... I don't know, maybe if you were thinking about something for 80s tones, this, I think, is a, a good shout. Thank you to Boss for letting me check it out, and I'll catch you in another video soon. Cheers.